How's it going guys and welcome back to Appetite Homemade. I'm Paul and today we're going to be looking at my little way of doing chili beef tacos. Let's take a look. So the first thing we're going to be looking at is the dry rub for the beef. Um, we've got an array of herbs and spices. We're going to get them weighed out, ready to go. And then we're going to dry fry them, ready to flavour our beef. So what we've actually got here is... Uh, we've got ground cumin. We've got a mild chilli powder. Ground coriander. Cinnamon. Chilli flakes. We've got garlic powder. Onion granules. And some dried oregano. So we want about a teaspoon of each in a bowl, we're going to mix that up and then we're going to get it dry fried. So, let's go to that side. Right, that's it. It's only got to be about a teaspoon. So that's the uh, coriander in. Cinnamon, just a little pinch we need. Ground cumin. Always one that gives you trouble. Yeah. Mild chili powder. Again, I mean, chili powder you can swap out for anything you want. You can use hot pepper chili powder, um, like a cayenne pepper. Completely up to you. Onion granules. Garlic powder. And the oregano I'm going to put in as I take it off because uh, dry frying that could potentially burn it. So let's get that fried up. So pans on, getting that nice and warm. Sprinkle your dry rub in. So that's it, that's the herbs done, toasted. Next thing we want to do is grab the beef. We're going to give the beef a good seasoning, salt and pepper. there and then we want to finely chop one sort of uh, medium sized onion put that there and then we've got some just sort of store bought red chilies we can top those slice them up put them in with the onions and then we can get all this fried off cooking and then we can move on to our tacos. So let's get these chilies done. You can do these any way you want. Obviously you can finely dice them. I'm just going to slice them on like that. So there you go, that's three chilies. Seeds and everything. Obviously if you don't want it hot or as hot you can remove the seeds and remove the um, the white flesh that's there. That's where a lot of the heat's retained within the chili. So yeah, if you don't want it too hot, remove all that, just keep the actual flesh of the actual chili. So when it comes to our actual taco filling, our actual chili beef taco filling, uh, we've got a pan on there, getting it nice and hot. We're gonna get all of the uh, ingredients sort of incorporated, ready to go. We can leave that just on a low simmer and then we can move on to our, to our actual tacos. So, pan on, nice and hot. Let's 
good glug of oil. So we're going to fry off our onions and our chilies. Just for a couple of minutes, get them sweaty down, nice and soft. You want the onions to look slightly opaque. Beef in. Break that beef up. Start getting a good colour on that. So once your beef is cooked down and you're throwing your seasoning mix in, what we need to do, uh, I've got some uh, passata tomato, passata, just a, a flavoured tomato sauce. We just want a sprinkle of that, probably about half a box on. We're going to mix that in, then we're going to turn the heat down nice and low, just let it cook off. Cover it for about half an hour and let it do its thing. So the next thing that we want to do is get our tacos ready. Uh, this is a nice simple recipe, I got this from Jamie Oliver, so just clearly stating that it's completely not my recipe, not nicking it. Just going to and it out to other people. Uh, so you want four tablespoons of self-raising flour and four tablespoons of warm water and then some salt. And then you want to smash all your bowls up. Two, three, and quite four, that's four, there we go. Down. Then we're just going to mix this into a dough. If you need more water, you need more water. It's not, it's not a problem. And like you see, that's not going to come together just yet. So we're going to. So once it dough's together, take it out. A little bit of flour on your side, just to give it a quick knead. Just to bring it all together. So that's the dough there. Make sure the side is flowered. We're going to grab a knife. Slightly turn this into. There you go. Split this dough into four. Roll each quarter into a 
little bowl. And we start rolling. So we can roll our tortilla nice and thin, grab a, a bowl or something you, your rough size, I know this small bowl is about six, six and a half inches. We can cut around that and then we've got a, a nice tortilla, rinse and repeat. So that's our tacos all rolled out ready to go, or our tortilla. Our beef has been cooking down now for around 15 to 20 minutes. It's just going to need a little bit longer. So we've got a pan on here. Again, going to be a nice dry pan. I don't know what's so nice about it, it's just a pan that is dry. We're going to fry off our tortilla and then shape them which I'll show you in a second. So, tortilla in. So that's the kind of colour we're looking for. Just slightly side to brown there. Brown on the other side. Still quite mouldable, so Here we've got just a rolling pin set up on two glasses. I put a couple of towels on there just so it doesn't roll off too much. So we'll just stick the tortilla onto there. And as it cools, we should set to that shape. And then we'll have our nice taco shell. Again, rinse and repeat, we'll do that with the other ones. And then we'll move on. So beef's been going for 25 minutes now. It's nicely cooked out. We just want to check, taste it, check for seasoning. Mm, that just needs. Some more salt in there, and I think we're good. So, guys, next thing we're going to be working is a just a like a tomato salsa as a garnish for our uh, for our tacos. The one thing I am going to do is I've got some fresh coriander. We're going to slice that through, and we're going to put that through into our beef mince as well, just to freshen that up. It's ready over on the side. We're just letting that cool down. Some fresh herbs in there just to finish that off, make it nice and fresh. This salsa, we're going to finely chop a red onion,
Uh, tomato with the seeds. Uh, one red chilli, depending on how hot you want it. Again, you can leave the seeds in. I'm just putting this in for a little bit of pep in that salsa. I'm going to take the seeds out. And we're going to finally try to uh, dice that as well. Some fresh coriander. And then the zest and juice of one lime. Gonna give that a good mix up. A good seasoning. And a little taste. Mm. Oh, that's good. So we're going to put that aside just for plating up. So guys, we've got everything ready now. We can start assembling the tacos. So we've got our toasted tortilla tacos there. We've got our chili beef mix in front here. Move that back. And then here's the stick. This is where we go to Flavor Town. So we've got our salsa, some fresh avocado, some yogurt, some feta cheese, and some fr picked uh, fresh coriander leaves. So we can start assembling. So let's pick our taco shell. So we've got our chili beef. Our fresh salsa. Some fresh avocado. coriander and some yogurt there it is guys how good does that look 
let's get to tasting. So this is it guys, this is a chili beef taco. I can't wait to get into this. So guys, let's get into this taco. So there's an underlying heat that gets getting you right in the back of the tongue. It's not overly hot because we've got all them cooling ingredients on the top. So we've got like our yogurt and our feta sort of combating that heat. Fresh coriander just coming through. That salsa. Making everything nice and light, summery. Mm. It's just so good. Honestly, you need to try this. You honestly need to try it. Mm. I think if I were to change anything. I would crisp up the tacos just a little bit more, just get more of a crunch. But what you can do is once you do your tacos and you shake them, if you put them to the side to cool, you can reheat them back in the oven and that might crisp them up a little bit more as well. But other than that, that is spot on. That's actually sensational. So as normal guys, all the information for this will be in the description below. I want you to like, comment, subscribe, all them fantastic things, help promote the channel. Leave anything down in the comments that you want to know, any questions you've got. Uh, if you've tried this, if you're going to try it, leave that down there. If you've got any questions for me, go ahead, ask. But all I can say, thank you very much for watching guys, and I hope you have a fantastic day.